Okay, this is the third part and the last one. So, you can go here. Remember, this is uh, a new tab. You can go directly into these parts. Yes, you're going to get this. And I'll, ch I'll show you in the second part here, but first, let's see this one. So, you get this and make sure you have uh, an available version for mobiles, for cell phones. So you click on that, and yes, you're gonna show, you're gonna be able to show this in your uh, student cell phones, but make sure, please make sure you choose this one. I saw two of you using this uh, templates. This one is the best one. Yes, if you don't have problems with your student sources, you choose the simple, uh, tablet and then you save it and that's the first part now you go and click onto this part and in the meantime okay you go and choose this part you remember we want uh, the block to look wider so you click on here Too slow, I don't know why. Okay, so look at this. This is the Y, the width, sorry. So you may change it by typing 1200 pixels, or you can go like this. Yes, this one is the best one for me. You type the numbers, yes, and this one should be 200, 250. Yes, okay, so. Once you have the, the width, you go into this part, sign, and make sure you choose the first one, the first part. And then you click on here. And let's see the changes. Look at this. It's in a new, new tab, but it's okay. Don't worry. Ooh, ooh, should be wider. If not, let's go and do it again. This part that isn't wide should be wider. Okay, let's go again. To okay, this is the problem. Yes, it is 700 pixels. You click, you click here. And you save it and see now it is a lot, a lot wider and it's a lot better because your students can see the wall with no problems. So let's scroll down. Here it is. See? This is your blog, and your students can start using it right now. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, send me a message to my email address. Please.